So today we are at our local rugby club. Yes, South Moulton Rugby Club. Why South Moulton Rugby Club? Because it's the best club in the world. I don't know why I'm so biased about that, but it's pretty damn cool. Why are we here? It's because we sponsor the post protectors. Yes, they've got our name on it. So if you ever play here, you get to see our post protectors on both ends of the pitch. But that's not the real reason. The real reason is it's a large area of grass, the perfect setting for a commercial machine. So if you run a facility company, a large area landscaping company, a golf course, have a large estate or any large area of grass at all, then you're going to want to see the new Cub Cadet XZ7152. This is a 60 inch wide cutting deck machine with a 27 horsepower Kohler engine on. We're Hayes Machinery. This is our YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Let's crack on and find out what it's all about. Sounds of all commercial machines, a very important thing is obviously being able to load them onto trailers and trucks. They all get loaded onto lots of different things through ramps and tailboards and different things. So we're going to show you how easy it is for this one to unload and load on the set of skids rather than the full width ramp, which is probably the hardest thing to navigate with a stick steer machine. Some people really don't like doing it on older machines, but to prove how smooth this drive system is on this machine, let's do it on camera. So being that it is the tubular frame hole build on this thing, when you're strapping your machine down, there's plenty for it to go over without harming anything. So many machines on the market have too much plastic or bits or pedals, levers, everything in the way to be able to strap over them. The Cub Cadet is absolutely fantastic for that because you can just literally strap it any way you want. So bang off with that one. There we go. Off with the strap. Let's get on and reverse her off. So all the detailed specs of this machine are available to view on our website, hayesmachinery.co.uk. You can even buy one on there, but if you're looking for a little bit more detail on this machine, over the next few months, we're going to be doing lots on our Facebook and Instagram, little clips and snippets here, there and everywhere. So please click subscribe on this YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram to see a lot more. So let's find out what's different about this machine compared to the XZ5 range. So there are two models in the XZ7 range. There's the 122 and the 152. This is the 152, which comes with a 60 inch deck or 152 centimeter, and it's also got the Kohler engine on the back. The 122 is a 48 inch deck and it comes with the Kawasaki engine on it. Both V-twin engines, both really nice engines. So the main difference between the Kawasaki and the Kohler engine is that the Kohler is fuel injected, pushing out 27 horsepower. It's the same engine that Cub Cadet used in their Z1 steering wheel commercial mower. So that's the same as the XZ5 larger machine. It comes with a steel fabricated deck. So it's a fully welded construction compared to a pressed steel deck you get on smaller machines. So it's a very, very strong deck on this machine. It even comes with the bumper plates at the side. So if you're loading onto a trailer or going around edges or walls and things like that, it protects the deck from getting scratched. So you don't get any fatigue on the deck like rust and you know, just, well, it just looks scabby, doesn't it? So it's nice to have that little bit extra on the side. So due to the type of grass we're going to be cutting today, it is set up in the side discharge mode. So the grass will just be literally shooting out the side. It's the quickest way to mow large areas, but also available with the mulch kit. So you can mulch with the mower rather than shooting it out everywhere. You can plow that back into the ground again. There's also an option for a collecting box. There's 380 liters that clips on the side and it blows up through a pipe into boxes on the rear of the machine. It's not going to be the best collector on the market, but if you've got different areas of ground on, say, parkland or an estate or something like that, and you want to pick up some areas and cut others, it's a good option on drier grass. 
So one of the most noticeable differences on the XZ7 range is that it's got a full roll bar protection, what they call ROPS, R-O-P-S. So it's got the full roll bar protection and the seat belt. So for commercial aspects, whether that's going around cutting amenity land or park land or golf course or any sort of you know, commercial aspect where other people are using the machine, it's fully insurable with the ROPS protection. The beauty of this is that you can fold it down. So if you have got, again, parkland and there's lots of low-lying trees and you need to be able to fold the roll bar down, it's very, very simple. You literally pull the pins out on each side and then you can... <laughs> that came down a lot easier than I thought it was going to. It didn't do that earlier on, it was a bit stiffer, but we loosened it. <laughs> oh, try that again. Let's try that again. <laughs> The beauty of the roll bar protection is that if you have got parkland, you've got low-lying trees, and you're able to get under them, obviously this can get in the way. But very simply, you can just pull out the pins on either side, and then the bar will just fold down out of the way, nice and securely, and you can get in under all of your trees. So if you can go underneath it with your head, your mower will fit under as well. Another obvious difference is how big the wheels are on this thing. You've got 24 by 12 by 12 tyres. So the wheels from the XZ5 can nearly fit on the inside rims of these. So not only does this mower come with a full high back comfortable seat, which is, well, pretty much like an armchair, but it also comes with front suspension. Yeah, front suspension. It's got independent front suspension on each front dolly wheel. So all of that bumpity, bumpity, bumpity you get generally with zero turn mowers is hopefully eliminated with this machine. So we're on a rugby pitch, not known to be the smoothest ground in the world. So it'll be interesting later on to find out how smooth it is. It's adjustable on both sides. It's sprung, not just on one, but on both sides of each dolly wheel. So let's find out what that's like in a minute. So rather than just an anti-sculpt wheel on each corner, it's also got one in the center of the machine. So it's gonna ride any undulating ground that you have. We've got a little bit of a bank over there later on, so we'd a little bit rougher area to try it out on so that we can find out what that's gonna be like. It also has LED lights. A proper good old fashioned key start. Easy access fuel tank. A nice large cup holder. Adjustable lap bars. Easy access panel to underneath the machine for the fuel tank and the battery. A heavy duty tow hitch is standard, so you can use this mower on all year round for whether it's rolling, using a trailer, other items like that around the garden, property, estate or sports field. So it's not uncommon knowledge that the ground care industry has a high turnaround of staff, whether that be seasonal staff or where staff come and go, but it's important to have a simple machine which is easy to operate and easy to train them on so that they can be safe and efficient when working for you. So how easy are these controls? Let's have a look. We've got literally turnkey start, nice and simple. Everyone understands a key. We've got the electric PTO engagement and that's just literally pull that one up once the engine is running and on full revs. Your manual throttle up through there. It's a fuel injected engine, so there's no choke. It's just literally turn that key over. And then you've got your height settings. So on the floor, you've got a pedal and then you've got a knob here, which you can turn around and select your height is in inch increments and they go up to 4.75 and go down to one. So that's 25 mil up to something. <laughs> I can't remember the highest millimeter now. Anyway, it's on our website, hazemachinery.co.uk. That's right, you can buy these machines from our website. Don't forget that, that's the important bit. Anyway, so that is pretty much all the control. So I'll just run through how that height adjustment bit works again. So all you've got is literally a turn dial here and you can select the inch increment that you want between one inch and 4.75 inches. So let's say if we want to cut our grass at three and a half inches, nice, pretty much good sort of height for a rugby pitch. You then press on your pedal you then unlock your transport position lever, which just pops up into place, and you can let your deck down. It's as simple as that. And if you want to put, put it back up again, you can leave it in the height you want, pop it back up, pop your lever in on your transport position, and it's up out of the way. Again, to put that down, press the lever in, pop that up, and let your deck down. It's as simple as that. So all, all the features and benefits on this machine are absolutely brilliant and I really, really like them. The most practical one out of them all is a fuel gauge, which is viewable from the seat. So it's not back around here on a tank over there somewhere. It is literally right there. You know, at the moment we've got, oh, about a third of a tank of petrol in it. And the petrol tank's right across the bottom of the machine. 
Some zero turns have a petrol tank in each corner. Cub Cadet even produced machines where there's a petrol tank each side to be able to get your weight balance right when you're on slopes. But this one, the fuel tank is, runs right across the bottom of the seat, so it's nice and central. And again, it's really easy to get to to be able to fill up, but I love the fact that there's a fuel gauge visible from the driver's seat. So as the seat is so comfortable, I've been waffling on for a while, let's get on, start her up and take her for a drive. So to start, make sure your handles are pushed out, a little bit of rev, turn the key, up she runs. Set your deck height, we're going to do it three and a half inches to start with and see what it looks like. We might go a little bit lower, unlock your transport position, let your deck down, full revs, engage your blades. So we've done a little bit of mowing already. We're gonna move on to the main pitch in a moment. But first of all, we've got a bit of a bank here, which is about 25 degrees. Cub Cadet are very well known for their steering wheel zero turns, and they are fantastic on slopes. Generally, stick steers or lap bars, whatever you wanna call it, are generally not well known for being easy to control on slopes. Being that these transmissions are so smooth, it's gonna be quite interesting to see what they're like on slopes. So let's try that. Now we've done the slopes and had a bit of a play, let's move on to the main pitch and we're going to cut that at 3.75 inches. So that's about two acres of mowing in 40 minutes with us farting about with cameras and GoPros and things for a minute. So probably a little bit less. 
So that's three acres an hour of cutting, which is pretty good. That's pretty quick cutting. There you are know, some bits where I went faster, some bits I went slower. I was playing about with the machine a little bit. I think I need to work on my straight lines. Come the end, it wasn't too bad. Luckily, on a rugby pitch, you've got lines every now and again to help you. So I had that as my aid. But also, fuel-wise, before we started, I had a third of a tank. And now it's got just under a quarter. That's pretty good for a 27 horsepower fuel injected engine. So I'm quite impressed with the fuel consumption. It'd be nice to fill it right up and do a full test, see how many hours it takes to take the whole one down. But I think we're gonna need a lot more grass than this to be able to do that. But I'm very impressed with this Cub Cadet. It's got a three year commercial warranty or 500 hour commercial warranty, depending on which one comes first. So if you're using it commercially, and you're doing 500 hours a year, then it's only one year commercial warranty. But yeah, up to three years or 500 hours, which I think is pretty generous for a commercial machine. It's got the build quality behind it to back it up. It's a pleasure to drive. It's really, really comfortable. The front suspension makes a difference, especially on this rugby pitch where they've got mole hills. It's not exactly been rolled or it's not like a proper Premier pitch. It's just a local town pitch and it is quite rough. For it to be able to cope with what we've done today and for me to feel not fatigued at all out of 40 minutes of use, it's not that loud. I haven't had any ear protection on. Quite comfortable, very, very happy. If you want to view a little bit more on these machines, please check out our website, hayesmachinery.co.uk. We've got them on there for sale. Cub Cadet have got some information as well. We are Hayes Machinery. This is our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Right, so now we're done. Let's get loaded back on the trailer again. Show you how easy that is. There we are, and it's on. Let's get it strapped on and get home.